Today, the San Pedro Bay Ports Complex is one of the cleanest in the world. In the past 10 years, an unprecedented partnership between industry, federal and state agencies, and the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach has significantly reduced port-related emissions, with an up to 84% drop in diesel particulates, 50% in nitrogen oxides, and 97% in sulfur oxides. These results and more are due to the Clean Air Action Plan that was officially adopted by both ports in 2006. The Clean Air Action Plan has been such a success because not only the leadership that was provided by our boards at both ports and our executive management, but also critically the industry partners that we've been working with over the years. They really are the ones that have stepped up and made all of these efforts to achieve the emission reductions that we've been able to much quicker than we anticipated and much more significantly than I think anybody expected. Working with the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the California Air Resources Board, and the South Coast Air Quality Management District, a number of strategies were developed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and other pollutants from all port equipment and operations. Today, every strategy in the original plan has been fully implemented or is well underway. The key to the success of this program has been collaboration. Collaboration with industry, collaboration with the community, collaboration with the regulatory groups, and also a substantial amount of investment from industry. For example, with the Clean Truck Program, over a billion dollars in investments were made to replace trucks, and the results have been dramatic. Over 90% reduction in emissions from trucks, and this has benefited not only the San Pedro Bay, but also the region. Cargo handling equipment and harbor craft have been updated to reduce emissions. For cargo ships, strategies included providing financial incentives for having the newest engines, which are 80% cleaner than older models, decreasing speeds when entering the harbor, which further reduced emissions, and using shore power by plugging into the port's electrical grid while loading and unloading, rather than idling auxiliary engines. When it comes to rail, the ports today have the cleanest locomotive fleet in the country, with the Pacific Harbor Line using the newest available locomotives and limiting idling time to 15 minutes. And for trucks, the Clean Truck Program, implemented in 2008, has literally transformed the entire fleet of trucks so that now all trucks that serve the ports meet 2007 or better emission standards. While reducing greenhouse gas emissions by introducing available clean technology has been a prime strategy, spending time and money to develop new technologies has also been key. A lot of the advancements and things that we want to do for reducing emissions don't exist yet, or at least they're emerging technologies. And so we need to work with the technological community and, and the equipment manufacturers to develop some of these new technologies. And all of the information that we've gotten through those demonstrations is really helpful for us now as we're identifying where we need to go for the future and how those technologies can help us. As the Clean Air Action Plan celebrates its 10th anniversary, both ports are already busy looking ahead and working together to chart not only the vision, but also the path to an even cleaner tomorrow. The next phase of the plan really has to address not just improving, but creating the zero emission truck, zero emission equipment. Each piece of equipment is now being tested for zero emissions, not reduction to lesser, but to eliminate. Uh, and, and that's really where we have to go. Both ports are public entities, and we have an obligation to the public to clean the earth. CAP 3.0 is very important because it continues the commitment that both ports made in 2006 to clean up our air and our water and create a very healthy environment for our community. We know that the transportation, the vessels, the trucks going in and out of the port create pollution, but we are very committed to making sure that we reduce that as much as we possibly can. And our goal is zero emissions. Congratulations to everyone who has been part of the journey so far.